the Coach Kyle Show. Welcome, welcome to the Coach Kyle Show. I'm your host, Kyle McKinnon. Um, remember the show we talk all things soccer. Um, it's a great day. Um, Five twenty. It's a great day. Um, I hope it's uh, a great day for you also. But before we jump into the show, let me quickly remind you that uh, greater is He that is in us than He that is in the world. And while we talk all things soccer, um, our objective continue to be um, our young people and making sure that they're truly living out their purpose and really excelling in um, in the areas uh, that they were born um, to fulfill. So we'll continue um, to use this platform um, that is um, super uncommon, that um, is unscripted, but uh, more importantly, authentic, uh, because it's based on um, experiences, events that are happening and, and um, stuff that, you know, obviously we would have encountered along the way. So we use it as, uh, as, as a way of um, equipping our, uh, our young people, equipping our young people, um, adding value to them, um, helping them to overcome things that they probably might be dealing with and don't know or don't know how to uh, get past those things. So we use uh, this show. This show is in no way or shape um, primarily focused or its priority is not to you know, attack no situation or to um, think that we have all the answers or nothing to that sort. It's, it's just based on experiences within the game um, on and off the field that is being shared here. So, um, and it's, and the hope is that it's used um, and it's empowering for those who might be dealing with um, familiar situations within the game. So we want to, we want to discuss the, um, we want to discuss this very important topic because, you know, thinking about this, going through this week and, you know, one thing about passion, one thing about purpose, you are, you're constantly challenged. You, you, you know, it's like, um, you know, you hear people say all the time, no good deed go unpunished, you know? So it's like, there's always, there's always a challenge to what is good because easy is exactly what it is. This, you don't, you really don't need an effort, um, to do things that are easy. You don't really need an effort to um, gain things that are quick. You don't need an effort, more importantly, when um, you don't need an effort to fail. You don't need an effort to have doubts. You don't, you don't need an effort to have fears. Those things come automatically as you challenge yourself to be, um, uh, to be good, to be great, to be, a fantastic person, a person that, um, a person that is trying to go after uh, big goals and big dreams and big aspirations. So we understand that. So we want to talk about uh, winners don't compromise. Okay, winners don't compromise. And I want to jump into this, but please do share. Please use this opportunity to share. Like I always say, it's more important for you to share than to like because um, the message is for our young people, wherever they are, and whatever they might be dealing with. Um, they might not have the answers right now. And hopefully this show can help them to negotiate um, through this process and come to a better, come to a better end 
or reach their desired end. So please do share. If you have not done so yet, please um, subscribe to the channel, Kyrie McKinnon and Co. at YouTube or on YouTube. Um, we've been grateful for uh, those uh, that continue to share. Um, I think um, it's a long shot. It's over a thousand people um, now. Um, fantastic. So continue to share, continue to share, continue to share. We'll be right back after this quick interruption to bring you a clear, um, a clear idea of why winners don't compromise. Coyote, McKinnon, and company are ready to dress you in one of their most stylish, comfortable, and attractive athletic gears this fall for you to achieve that desired athletic goal. Check out their online store today for your joggers, tank tops, bras, backpacks, sweatshirts, and everything else you'll need to complete that look. It's Coyote, McKinnon, and company. We care. Welcome back to the Coach Coyote Show. Coyote here. I'm happy to have you um, in participating in this show. Uh, please do uh, send your comments, share your ideas. Um, always, uh, for me, it's always an opportunity to grow, um, especially um, in, when you're having these conversations. It's, it's important to have different perspectives uh, because not one shoe fits all. So it's important to have different things that you can actually evaluate, uh, reflect on, and, and see if it's if it's congruent with what or it's on the continuum of what you are what you are trying to what you're trying to where you're trying to reach or what you're trying to accomplish. So please feel free to share your comments and give your feedback on 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 any and every topic that we bring. On, on this on this live podcast um, be reminded that you can get this podcast anywhere uh, that you listen to your podcast Spotify anchor and the whole deal winners don't compromise um, you know thinking about this you know during the weekend um, you know obviously you work with athletes and you know I've come to realize that you know, winning, it's its a very unique thing. Um, but winning don't happen without winners. You know, winner, the winner is the person. You know, it's an, um, and then, and winning is a description of, you know, what, or it highlights, or it advances the winner, the person. So it starts with you. And why I believe, why I believe that, when, when you are a winner, you don't you don't compromise. And I hear people use the word compromise all the time, and they use it in different um, contexts. And um, and you know they will have their own def definition. But I kind of you know my way of thinking is it's not to be totally be reliant on on trends or or what is common, but to always try to. In in a, in a crazy way, seek more wisdom or seek uh, a clear understanding of of things that are around me, um, things that I am constantly connected with. Um, because you know, I was reading something the other day, and in, and um, I think it's in 1835 they had this general. I'm not going to go into all of that, but uh, you know, they found a way to to change behaviors and change cultures and change mindset because of a certain reason and because they wanted to accomplish uh, whatever they wanted to accomplish. So a lot of things that we see and a lot of things we 
we we take on and we make it gospel, we always have to uh, seek a higher understanding of things that are wrong us, even definition of words. Uh, and, and that's not here or there. It's just my perspective. I am not super reliant on um, things that are always natural and things that are in front of me because I believe there's a bigger um, there's, there's a bigger thing playing out or there's, um, there's something that is deeper because uh, with all that you get knowledge, you know, God said, seek wisdom because that tells me that there's something beyond what you're looking at or there's something beyond what you're seeing. There's something deeper than what you're reading in front of you. So um, in that case, I've, I've never uh, totally be reliant on no one. Absolutely no one. No one or nothing. My total reliance, regardless, it's always based on the person who have the ability to wake me up. The person who have the ability to provide. The person who have the ability uh, to heal. The person who um, things happen around you and you say it's a miracle. Um, that's my total, that's what I have total reliance on. Absolutely no one on the face of this earth do I have total reliance in or I rely on them. No, nope. uh, that's too scary because people are just people, regardless of who they are. They're just people and people do what people do. So winners don't compromise. And when I look at compromise, uh, my perspective is always accepting things that you don't agree necessarily agree with. I won't even say necessarily. I, I, my definition of the word compromise is accepting things that you don't agree with. I use a better word um, before I get to that. But, but winners, which is crazy, um, for me, is people who clearly have an understanding um, of the process, and that process. It's based on gaining something. So compromise, I accept things that I don't agree with. Winners have a clear understanding of a process that allow them to gain something, gain advantage, uh, gain a desired outcome. They are clear about that. So how you? That's why I don't. That's why I can't put those two things together. Because one, it's clear. One, you are doing something uh, that you you you're not necessarily clear about, but for whatever reason, um, you are agreeing or you are accepting uh, whatever that is, behaviors, lies, whatever. You know, we could go we could go down that list. We could have a whole list of things that people compromise with. Uh, and some people use the word and they will define it different. So it's what I'm saying is not set in stones. It's my perspective. Like I started off saying, I am not, I don't totally rely on nothing that I can see. Things that I could see, I obviously use them as an opportunity to grow, an opportunity to learn and, and, and different situations, right? But when you talk about totally relying on what I see or what I read, no, that's that's not how I that's not how I live. People live differently. So I can't, that's why I don't put those two things together. We have to clearly separate a winner from a person who compromises. And winners don't compromise. Most times when people are compromising, they are looking, um, their priority is not, is never to grow in the way that they should. They will grow. Like, but I always go back to, you know, not every, not every person um, that is successful, you truly understand how those, how they gain their success. That is why you should never be envious of people who look like they're progressing. 
you know, because you might envy somebody who might be going through hell and you're asking for what they have, that means you're asking for help. That is envy because you believe that you should get what they have. So envy is always dangerous. You should never envy something. You should never envy people for what they have. Because now, because you want that, but you don't know their journey. You don't know their path. You don't know what they had to do. You don't know what they're going through presently. But you want that. So you will compromise and accept something because you want that. And not understanding that the, the, you, you don't understand the process. So a winner understands the process. You don't understand the process. You just want what that person, what that person got. But if you knew the process, would you still want it? But yet you will compromise to get it. Thus, you're not a winner. You're just a person who compromises. And when you compromise and you see what, or you come to, to realize what that process is, you pray to God to get out of it. But oftentimes it's too late. You're so deep in, you can't come out. So there are winners and there are people who compromise. They are not the same. And winners don't compromise. And it's all over. You know, you, you hear stories all the time about people who, who said, you know, who, you know, they will always share, you know, why did I get myself in this? They're doing really well, you know. They are role models of so many people. They are, um, they, you know, the people look at them as, uh, as, as the the measuring stick of what something supposed to look like, and in soccer, it, it, so many times it happened when you see a big crowd of people, right, and and I've heard it. People would say, "Well, this is an established thing. This is an this is the definition of development," and then they will see a small group and they will say, "Well, this don't make sense." But what is the process? What is that process that makes them so established or advanced? What is happening in there that is leading to that? I don't know. But do you? Is it because of winners or is it because of people who compromise? You see, I'm saying a winner... And because winners understand process. And in soccer, there's a clear process uh, for growth. This is why uh, development is clearly connected to coaches and not trainers or, or executives or nothing. When you talk about development, you have to talk about the process. And the only person who could... Um, Lead that process is a coach. Because a coach is responsible for aligning the participant with the process. That means the athlete with a process. And that process is creating a movement from where they are to where they need to be. And that process could never be compromised. Thus, if you don't compromise, then you become a winner because a winner is what you admire on TV and hope one day to be in their shoes or to be in their position playing at that level. And for those who have not compromised themselves, you, you see their career expand over a, a, a longer period and success is consistent. Now, many people would have done different things to get to gain whatever uh, um, 
uh, to gain whatever they have. This is what I'm saying. You shouldn't envy or you shouldn't be quick to judge because you don't know their process. But I know there's so many people who understand the process that would never compromise it that oftentimes you, you don't hear too much about those people. That is why you think that whatever you see and whatever you hear and whatever you know, you, you, you are totally reliant on that as the process of a winner. But you don't know if it's because of compromising. And if you get those two things, if you get the, if you get that wrong and you put those two things together and you say a winner compromises, then you're in trouble. Because nothing about a winner compromises. They don't accept what is not a part of the process. And there's a clear process and there's a clear rule of thumb to make sure that as a player and even as a person, you have to walk that path to become successful. Something to think about as we take a quick break and, and um, invite you to our, the Iron K uh, Just Clean sponsored learning corner. Um, hopefully that you can gain something from um, this tactical experience that you can utilize in your in your own environment. Okay, so we'll be right back after this quick break to 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 bring this thing down and 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 help you to understand better why those two things don't connect. We'll be right back. way you can think about if you want to maintain this and maybe you want to stay compact you want to stay narrow is in this case you bring your six back and mark and have a, a sweeper as we would say you have a sweeper here um, if 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 any of the players in the middle here get beat they can give some coverage but you're a bit narrow here you're a bit outnumbered here now because if you leave, then it leaves the eight open. So how do you deal with this? Um, one way to deal with this is to make the player play one side. So in, in this event, the four with the ball, you make him play one side. Now, this player must stay with this player, okay? Which now allows the two to deal with this situation. So even though they have an extra man, even though they have an extra man, right? He's not in the play necessarily because of where the ball is going. But you have to be very mindful that all the players are on the ball side. So in, in, rather than the 10 being here, the 10 need to be on the ball side, okay? So it allows the, the seven to be more compact it's the, based on where the ball is, you can see where the two is also because the 11, the 10 is here, he can be here. But if he sees something happening, he can also change his position ahead of time. But it allows this, which allow this player to come on this side because remember, look, 10 is leave, 10 cannot stay here because there's, there's, there, there will be passing between the line. If you ask the seven to come in too much, then it gives this, it gives this 2v1. So by axing the 10 to come on the ball to actually take away the space and the 11 to get a bit narrow, now the, the eight must be able to give that coverage here. And because it's away from the ball, uh, the, the ball is being forced to this side of the field, we can ask the 11 to kind of get in between the eight and the two and the five. So you don't necessarily need to come and mark here. He can just be in between here in the event of something happening. He can always push the ball back to this side. 
So while you have these not these players open the two and the five, be based on where the ball is going, they're of none effect right now. So now you compact, you got some coverage here. Um, even if for whatever reason the seven is caught sleeping in the ball here, now you can transform the marking, give coverage, player comes inside, now we close in space and very compact. Hi there and welcome back to the Coach Kayo Show. I hope that you are sharing, 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 sharing the show. Um, talking about winners don't compromise. Such um, something that you can, you know, you can look really deep in to, to really understand what I'm saying. Um, and it's obviously it's based on, on my perspective because um, because a winner, winners understand the process, as I was saying just before this break, there are more solution finders. There are, and when we talk about solutions, we talk about people who solve problems, who solve the mysteries, who solve uh, the situation when it, when it relates to soccer. Um, there's, there's a whole lot of situations and problems that you encounter. There's problems that you for, uh, you know, they, in soccer, there's this thing that we talk about uh, foretaught or you foresee a, a problem and you have a, a potential or a possible solution to rectify what you what you foresee. You don't say, I will compromise. You, you don't say, I will accept that this is what it is. You start, you begin, I'm sorry, you begin to find solutions because solutions can bring you um, your desired result. So based on that, uh, based on that fact, you cannot be a winner and compromise because those two things are not connected in no way or shape. So maybe, may, just maybe, that is why um, we, we have less winners and more followers. Maybe this is why there's so much conflicts and confusion within uh, the developmental um, environment. Maybe this is why that people um, believe that when a person have a certain perspective and it's not common and it's not the norm, they are they are labeled arrogant, narcissistic. What's the word? Narciss narcissistic, you know, or a narcissist. Um, they are they are labeled as, you know, they cause so many names. Because if 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 you are a winner, then you are always in the mood of trying to solve problems, always trying to find solutions, always focusing on a process of growth, and a process is never quick. Because you you have to allow um, you have to allow yourself to transition into where you're trying to go, and that's never something you can you can say I want to be here at this point in time. I want to be there at this point in time, but you can't really cover. You can't really put a cover on growth because every time you get to a level, there's always the next level. So we, based on what compromise mean from my perspective, uh, winners cannot do that because winners are always about a process. And I speak to this um, because, you know, it's it is in um, for me in youth youth soccer. It's in the the youth development arena, and what you see in is. You know, because of compromise, and why do I say there's more compromise than um, there's more compromise and less winners? <laughs> From what I said earlier, you can never develop through compromise because you're accepting things that you don't agree with, but more so you 
in 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 the soccer development you're accepting things that you very well know has nothing to do with developing the attributes that is required to produce winners because you and I very well know the process to do that and if you if you don't follow that process and you don't follow that rule then you are guarantee you are guaranteeing failures because let's think let's take it from your perspective because you know you have a whole lot of intellectual people um that listen to the show that could um could could really articulate themselves and put words together and and everything else so it in maths um i got some maths mathematician around me and, and who really that's their skill and i asked them like when you are focusing on math you what do you how do you find your answers how do you get to the answers and one of the things that is consistent you know they talk about we use a formula before we get to the answer there is a formula there there are rules that you must follow and then we have to practice it don't matter what what the sum look like we have to use a certain rule to get the answer if we don't use that rule our chances of failing is great the english language same thing you have to use a certain rule i obviously don't use none of the rules probably i don't know but maybe i don't and then that you see maybe i'm not using the rule and maybe you saying well well he's crazy something is wrong with him he got to learn to go he got to do a better job of that before he before he come on the show fine i i will accept that because you are the one who understand the rule so if i'm not using the rule obviously i will make mistakes that you won't make cuz you understand the rule so if i don't follow the rule and i don't follow the process if i compromise what that thing is and how i should approach it then i'm bound to i'm i'm bound to fail that means i'm not a winner i'm not going to pass the test i'm not going to get the a on the test because i try to do things i try to compromise the thing i need to use so in soccer there is a clear rule this ages and stages of development there is a clear curriculum that speaks to or a syllabus that speaks to what a person need to know at a certain time there's clear physical attributes that are needed to perform as a winner there are clear tactical responsibility regards to what age you're at it's clear what it needs to look like these are rules now if someone is not qualified in that rule just like how you were telling me i'm not qualified to do certain things because i'm not is the same way if you are not qualified in that area and i have to follow your I have to follow what you want me to do i have to compromise what you want me to accept then this will lead me to come this will lead me to not doing or focusing on the rule of development thus producing less winners and more failures because i'm compromising the problem when winners refuse to compromise because they understand the process then you see the fire come down on them then you see the judgment have you ever uh of anyone you listening to this show 
have you ever stopped to think about what you're doing and how passionate you are about it and how you have done the work you have you know you have gone through the process and and understand what is required so obviously you're not using um, just your thing but things you have learned things that you have studied things that you are familiar with have you ever stopped and think about the people that criticize what you're doing the people that talk so badly about who you are because of what you're doing have you ever stopped to think that those people have no merit for what they're saying but those very people offend you those people make you angry those people make you upset um, those people make you want to go compromise So you, you are on the winner's row because of because you understand the process. You understand what it takes. It don't mean that everybody will agree. And I think sometimes that's why people compromise and that's why they don't win. Not because you are, from your perspective in your heart, because everybody knows when they are doing evil when they are just wicked and they're just treacherous everybody knows that like you could go and hide and do whatever you want it's at the end of the day nobody in the world could know that you're lying but you know nobody in the world don't know that you're speaking the truth but you know you and god know but a lot of times people believe because they in their hearts they are doing the right things or they're trying to do the right things. I won't take it so far to say doing the right things because, you know, all of us, our righteousness are like filthy rags, you know. We, we can't claim to be, um, we can't claim to be so morally competent that we could, we, we, we could say that we, in the, we are in, um, we are in this secure place. And in our hearts, we strive and, we, we feel the courage and the we feel the conviction of our hearts that we keep we keep fighting and keep going and that give us some amount of of, of, of of assurance that we are on the right path but it's still some rocky places we're in the ship and we know we're going to our destination and 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 it's telling us we're on the right path but it don't mean that the, the seas won't get rough it won't it, it but we are sure that we're on the right path because we have a clear uh, the compass is clear about our direction it's clear and we know we're heading in the right place but it don't mean that there's not some bumps in the road it's not some bumps on the sea but if you know in your heart that you are trying and you're making the effort, it don't it don't mean that everybody will support you. It don't mean that everybody will agree with you. It don't mean that everyone will follow you. It don't mean that every single person will support you. I guarantee you there will be more objection to you than you believe. Just look around. How many positive things are being supported 100%? And how many negative things are justified 90 to 80% of the time? Because it's hard. It's a separation. It's a big separation between those two things. That's why people are forced oftentimes to compromise because winning don't seem um, nowhere close in their view. So they, people get so frustrated. That you see people who are on the process of becoming a winner get so frustrated because everything that 
they are doing the, with the honesty of their hearts, they see it seems like they're not going in the right direction. It seems like everything seemed to go wrong. So now they're forced to compromise. They're forced to say, you know what? Uh, you know, I'm, you know, I, I'll put it to the side, and I'm, I'm, you know, this is justifiable. You know, God will understand. Don't worry. He, he knows that I'm trying. We all probably would have been there. So it's a difficult one. It is. That is why they're less winners. Because a lot, a lot more people will compromise. You see, young people come to me all the time and they say, Coach, I have a, you know, I have this big dream. I have this big goal. I want to be here. I want to be, I want to be there. But then when you put the rule in front of them and you put the formula to do it, they question you. How you how are you going to question someone when you don't have the idea, you don't have the rule, you don't have the formula, you are struggling to find how you, what, what will get you there, what will get you to that desired outcome. But you don't know the rule because the rule is hard and it's, it's, it's demanding from you. It's, it's not convenient. It's, it's, it's hard. It's tough. It demands everything from you because that's the rule. You being unfamiliar with the rule should not, you should not blame someone or ask someone to compromise with where you are, but you want to move from where you are to where you need to be. So what if they compromise with where you are? Then you will stay there because they will accept you where you are. While you should respect where someone is, you shouldn't accept that. You should try to help them. Not help them. You should try to add value to their life. Because I don't like the word help. You should try to add value to their life or to bring some among the influence to drive them to where they want to be. The moment you start compromising, then you create a culture and a behavior that is the representation of something that they will soon realize is not true. Because it's compromise. It's accepting what you don't agree with. From my perspective, you might disagree with, with my definition of it, but that's what I see. Winners understand a process. And they find solutions. Solutions is a representation of solving problems. And if you're going to solve problems, it means that you're not accepting something as it is. Or agreeing with something that you don't really agree with. And this is important in soccer because of the enrollment system. If, if teams and coaches was to really use the developmental model, I really, I would want to see if this environment will remain the same. If there will be such high level competition for enrollment rather or it will be a high level of competition for who will win it all right now it's not about winning it all <laughs> it's not about creating winners it's not about creating national team players it's not about creating more professionals it's not about establishing so many good players that communities could have their own professional teams a tongue could have its own professional team that will inspire more young people, that will encourage more young people to do things positive, positive with their lives. That's not what the competition is about. The competition is about the enrollment.
because there's there's a compromise. And once you compromise, you are no longer using the rule or the formula of development. Thus, the people who are not equipped become the people who are running the show. Because you have to compromise. If you don't, then they will not come. If you don't. So, do you want someone to compromise with you with the expense of developing a winner? <laughs> Something to think about. Because to compromise is to agree with something that is not true in the sport of soccer and in life, from my perspective. To compromise is to agree with something that is not true. And from, soc from the soccer perspective, if you compromise with a process that don't speak to the developmental rule or the formula of development, then you are doing an injustice to those who are there for development. Because you cannot do it without using the formula or using the rule of development, not halfway. <laughs> you don't do the formula in maths halfway to get the answer. You have to go all the way to the end, all the way to the end to find the right answer. But I learned if you continuously do something and you continuously tell people something, regardless if it's a lie, they will start believing it because it creates a culture. Culture drives behavior. Behavior drives result. So if everybody doing the same thing and the same thing is wrong, the same thing become right. And anything outside of that same thing is now wrong. Even though it might just be right. So hopefully, we start producing winners. Winners are competent people. They are competent. They understand rules. They understand the formula for every action, for every behavior, for every decision. They know what is it they should be doing. They're not compromising that. Maybe you... Winners are people who are consistent. People who, are com who compromise, they are inconsistent because that's not what they believe in. So obviously, if you don't believe in something, at some point in time, you will change. So winners are consistent because they know this is what produce. This is what allow me to excel. This is what allowed me to find, solve problems. So winners are consistent. Winners are intentional. People who compromise are not intentional. They don't have to be. They just have to accept something that you accept. Regardless, if it feeds into your if it feeds into what your desires are or your desire is, they just they go with it. They don't need to be intentional. But winners are because they're clear and they have no place for nothing else. We're either going to solve this problem, we're going to have a solution, or we're going to have to keep working to figure it out. Because I'm a winner. That's what winners do. Uh, winners are aware. Awareness. Because whatever situation you find yourself in, you will uh, 
implement more times than not the right action. And even if it's not right, you will learn. So with that being said, um, be a winner. Don't compromise. And for those who are not in the position, who are who have not taken up this uh, this sport as something uh, that they want to teach or they want to coach, uh, so they haven't gone through the process of uh, becoming competent in that area. You have to know when you start making the decisions of what a winner is supposed to look like in this environment, in this environment, the soccer environment, you're asking the qualified to compromise. And compromising don't produce winners. It don't. For the mere fact that the rule and the formula is now compromised. It's not compromised. So humbly, uh, respectfully, you know, there's so many young people that have big goals and aspirations and big dreams. And it's not them that are asking the environment to compromise. Because they are unable to negotiate what is it, what is needed. They're asking. That's why they're coaches. They're asking for help. They're asking for direction. And when someone is asked to compromise the, the direction and to compromise the rule and to compromise the formula, then we're doing an injustice to the ones that are depending on us. Let's produce more winners. Stay blessed and have a fantastic week. Now is the time to keep your family warm with quality insulation for your home from Pro Insulation Company. At Pro Insulation, we solve all your residential and commercial insulation needs. Attics, crawl spaces, walls and ceilings, new and existing homes, and we offer traditional insulation and spray foam. Call Pro Insulation Company today for your free in-home estimate. For all your insulation needs. Leave it to the pros and call Pro Insulation Company in Plainfield today.